I'm so glad that you made it to the crime scene so quickly. We have DNA of four suspects and we need you to perform a polymerase chain reaction to amplify this DNA. Meet you in the lab. For today's experiment, we will be using micropipettes, micropipette tips, two different Eppendorf tubes. One is tiny for our PCR materials. The other two is basically to hold our PCR tube. And we'll be combining master mix plus primer with our DNA samples to do the PCR reaction. And we're going to use a micro centrifuge uh, along with our thermocycler. So first we will add in our DNA sample. First from the crime scene. We'll do 20 microliters of our DNA sample. Make sure to quickly cap your epidermis tube. Also use a fresh tip to transfer it in your master mix plus primer. And then we want to mix the two together. And to mix it, you can just tap the Epidorf tube gently. Also to mix it, you can pipette the solution up and down a little bit. And we're just going to do this with our first standard. Same thing, 20 microliters of DNA, 20 microliters of our master mix primer. Pipe that it up and down a bit. After you've added all the DNA samples to all your tubes, we're going to spin down everything and then perform the reaction. After the solution is spin down, we're going to transfer the DNA over to the thermocycler to perform the reaction. Now that we've loaded our PCR tubes, we're going to select our cycle. What's happening inside the thermocycler is that it's adjusting the temperature. It first raises the temperature to denature the DNA and then lowers the temperature to anneal the primers and then increases the temperature to allow the DNA polymerase to extend the primers. Looks like it'll take two hours. Now we can remove the samples and store them. That completes the PCR portion of the lab. Stay tuned for next week where we will do gel electrophoresis. Some of you may be wondering what is in MasterMix. MasterMix contains a buffer that provides a suitable environment for the DNA polymerase um, reaction to occur. It also contains magnesium chloride, which is an essential ingredient that enhances the enzymatic activity of DNA polymerase. It also contains deoxynucleotide triphosphate attached to the four DNA base pairs. So you have DATP, DGTP, DCTP, and DTTP. Last but not least, it contains a thermal stable DNA polymerase. The DNA polymerase has a really interesting backstory. I encourage you to look into TAC DNA polymerase.